All right, today's video, we're gonna do a compression test on this 2003 Jeep TJ with a 4.0 engine. I got a Viper coil mod on there. I got an M62 supercharger. What we're gonna do first is we're going to remove all the plugs and wires. You won't have this set up because I got a Viper coil mod. Most likely you're gonna have the coil bar, so you'll have to remove the bar or whoever your setup is. We're gonna remove all that, remove the plugs, and get ready to do the compression, compression test. test. Everybody's gonna be different. You don't want it to be pumping fuel in the engine. So what I like to do is remove the fuel pump relay, number 37, just this right here. I already got my plugs all out. Got my compression gauge hooked up. And I'm also going to disconnect the plug for the Viper coil, just hold on, I'll pull that off. I just got my coil unplugged too because last thing I wanted to be doing is energizing these plug wires because who knows what could happen. So now we're going to go inside, crank it over and see what Compression happens. Compression test, you want to put your foot all the way to the floor, crank it over a few times. Now let's see what the compression reads. All right, we found one cylinder that's a little on the rough side. We're just gonna do a compression test on this one hole so far to see what the compression is. Fuel pump relay is pulled out. Might sputter for a second, but. No, man, that hole is fucking good. Your compression's way hard. My engine, you almost hitting like 150. Crank it over. Okay. Okay, number three, hit it. Number three is about 162. So basically that's how you would do a compression test. You do the same for all cylinders, hook up the gauge, hold your foot to the floor, crank it over, probably like about five seconds, read the gauge. All your compression should be within five PSI. If you get a range of 10 or more, you know you got some issues somewhere else and you gotta do it. After that, you gotta do a leak down test, maybe a vacuum test. Do a whole bunch of tests to troubleshoot where exactly the issue is going to come in from. But anyways, that's a quick way how you're going to do a compression test on your engine. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.